Almost. Almost. And I think we're good. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, of course you take a capture of that screen. Also, hold on. Don't mind me. I, for some reason, I decided now is the best time to... Now is the best time to do something I should have done, like, earlier this week. Don't ask how my brain works, even though I'm not sure. I'm like holding this thing like, where's where's the thing? I thought I put the thing in. You did not put the thing in, Scooter. You daft. You dreary daft man. rhythm with it. Oh wait, no, I'm not doing a fitness list. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright. Keep your posture straight. And here we go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. This stretch targets the area between the thighs and glutes. I need to have Last a sense time. of balance. Unfortunately, yep. that might be a Just tall like ask for me today. Next is the heel lift stretch. Oh, so we're not lunging yet. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Breathe out as you raise Ooh. your ankles. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. All right. Breathe in as you extend your leg. Breathe out as you pull it back. You should be able to feel your back muscles stretching. Let's do one more of each. Yeah, looking great. Finally. And then finally, do some overheads. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Face forward without letting your head drop. Try not to bounce during this stretch. Let's do one more of each. Great job. And there it is. Let me make sure. had to make sure I had to stop to make sure I actually tweeted this week that I went live with this instead of you know like last week where I never tweeted at all uh, Twitch Prime Cool thank you for following <laughs> okay I, sorry, it's just a very interesting, it's a very blunt username, I guess, is the best way to say it. Okay. Okay. Well, I know how I want to start, then. Hello. Hello. 
Welcome to a ring fit stream. Okay, let's go. Keep your hips still as you twist the body. Fine work. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Fantastic. Oh, thank you a lot. I hope you're having a great evening. Excellent. Amazing. Oh. God. Very oh. nice. 30 oh. more. I see your comment, but I can't quite read right now. I'll answer you in just a second. <laughs> Great! Nicely done! Great! Fantastic! Fantastic! Keep it up! All right! Increase your pace! Well done! Okay! Come on! I appreciate it. Um, okay, now that I can actually see what you're saying. Yeah, I enjoy Ring Fit. Um, I do I, I do the Adventure Mode playthroughs like every week on Thursdays just because this game kind of helps me stay in shape. Uh, it, may not, it may not look like it so much at the moment just because I'm not... Just because I know body shape-wise I don't look like a thin man, but... Ring Fit has helped keep me in shape when I spent a lot of hard work losing a ton of weight in the past. So I play it just to, just in just in a uh, I play it just in a bit. Uh, There's a word I want to say. Basically, I play it just to keep myself in shape and not go back to being fat <laughs> like I was. Um. Anyway. Well, thank you. A fit is a general term. I mean, I know most people who look at me will say, oh, you're not fit, and yada yada, and so on and so forth. But then, I mean, most of my uh, genetics indicate a wide frame. Like, I'm 250 now. I'm 250 now. But I know for a fact, just because my father is the exact same way, that if I were to go much below 240, I would start to look anorexic. Even though for like my height, 200 is like the goal weight, they say. That's also with no muscle mass, so... Oh, take that out what you will. Anyway. Ah, I see. But here's the problem with this, uh, what you have put forth today. Uh, I vote no to this. Why do, wow, how do I not, do I really have nothing else for yellow? I think I actually have nothing else for yellow. Uh... Well, I'm not going to eat them otherwise. 
Do I have anything else that's cheaper that just negates? Oh. Oh yeah, sorry. Cheaper. That cancels. There we go. Sir, what about that? Okay. Well, something I will... Uh, something I will warn you about, Twitch Prime, cool, is this is technically New Game Plus. So dialogue here is different. I don't think it's going to spoil any of the plot of the game as you're playing it. But do know that the po plot points you will see are good, what they will say in like plot-driven context. Way different than what actually happens. So, But keep trying. Uh, I will say... I will say, though, definitely keep playing the game. Definitely, you know, make sure you don't hurt yourself playing the game. I've told the story before when I first started playing this game for myself, and then when I eventually moved it over to Twitch streaming it on and off. Um, when I first started playing this game, I started at difficulty 23, and that's because I used to, you can kind of see it to my left here, it, it, the orange thing. Um, I used to, I would run for like two hours a day on ellipticals, varying ellipticals. So I came into this thing, okay, they say level 23, okay, that, that's probably like about my range level. Started doing squats, I could not walk normally for a week after I did my first two, exor two exercise sessions. Because of all the squats, my body was shot. But now I'm at difficulty 30. You max level effectively. Needless to say, whatever you told the game, please tell me you tell you told the game the truth about your exercise level because if you didn't, it's going to hurt you or not work as well as it should. shame in whatever difficulty you play on play on the difficulty that is best suited for you and won't and won't make you hurt at the end of the day that's what i tell everybody when they're just starting to play this game play the dif yeah play the difficulty that is going to be the most comfortable for you do not worry about what other people are doing or showing off them doing and things of that sort Excuse me. Excuse me again. Sorry. I had a light snack to give me some energy before this stream. Because last week when I streamed this, I said, "Oh, I'll do my no I'll do my normal Ring Fit stream without eating anything." Worst decision I made because I ran out of energy super hard. <laughs> so to put it in perspective, I think if you were to do with these mountain climbers whenever they come up for you on your current difficulty you would only do uh, 14 of them so just know that the game does adjust based on what difficulty you're on how many reps of everything you do no matter how far in the game you are if you stay on difficulty if you yeah, difficulty is basically how many reps per set you do. It also, I think it might also affect like the how much you have to jog during the running segments. It may affect how fast your character moves, but I'm not sure on that. Because like I said, I started at 23 and I just kept going up from there. <laughs> and now I've maxed out the difficulty.
かるおう、ノーノー、the band on your leg the band on your leg stays the same tightness that you said at the start of your session regardless if you're talking about this band though that's the same thing this will always have the same tension oh right this now we go But yeah, just um. Neat. Wonderful. Sorry, it's very hard to talk, <laughs> talk and do the workout after I just did mountain climbers. Like I said, work at your own pace for how long you're comfortable. I'm crazy. I play a max difficulty like this until that clock in the lower left corner okay. says one hour. Roughly. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Wonderful. Neat. Which is why I made the point to say don't compare what you do to something I do or something somebody else does. Because some people, like, citing myself are crazy. Neat. Perfect. Fine work. I should stop doing that. It's going to piss off over me. <laughs> Excellent. Keep it up. Uh Okay, I'm going to ask the dumb question to re in response to your question. Today or overall? Okay. Great. Nicely done. Great. Amazing. Both? Okay. So yes. today awesome. I've only been live for 18 minutes. Career streaming? Good job. Uh, career Great. streaming uh, time? Okay. Uh, I wasn't super in the, the streaming game when it, when it first picked up, like five, six years ago. But I started streaming more regular. I started streaming more regularly about three years ago. Very nice. Okay. I guess at, uh, three and a half years ago. But, keep it up. Oh yeah, Come been on. doing it for a long time. Yes. Yes. Um, but well even longer. Five more. Excuse me. Great. Good job. But Three. even longer, if if you uh. Excellent. One uh, left. Right on. You made it. If you find your. Stand up. No need to run. Ah, I see. You found one of my emotes. My only emote. Um, I can tell the story behind that in a minute. Um, but overall, if your legs bend slightly, squeeze. overall, in terms of uh, content creation, because streaming is seen as content creation, I've actually been making content over 12 years. <laughs> I do that, I do that, I do that thing that pretty much everybody does, which is the Let's Play stuff, and I've been doing it for about 12 years now, so... And sorry for shilling. I don't do this. I don't do this very often, and I hate doing it. But I, in order to play the game, I have to check down below me here. 
links to everything. At least I think so. I don't know if you're on phone and you're. I don't know if you're on fo watching this on your phone or what. I, I don't judge. I don't know if people are on a eh, tablet, so it's kind of like it's. Okay, it's kind of like the desktop version, so yeah. So, the story behind that emote. Okay. Well, first of all, that emote was drawn by my good friend, Nera Loka. Which I should, at some point, I should set up a bot so people can, like, just, just say, so people, so I can cite my artists. Oops. But Nero Loka drew that, drew that emote, and the story behind it is that, uh, the story behind that is that I, uh, what eventually, what I streamed a lot of, which, uh, which did get me to the affiliate status I am here on Twitch, is I streamed a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors. The Fire Emblem Musou game that was like almost the launch title for the Switch. And I decided the character I wanted to make my best unit was Frederick. So that is supposed to be Frederick Fire Emblem. Nara hates me. Nara hates me to this day that I made him draw that for my emote. He, we played it up for a bit, of course. We, he always played up for a bit. Okay, cool. Being honest, it's kind of a. The Discord is kind of a. It, it's it's a little bit of a ghost town because I'm not super. I'm not super talkative of a person. And I think everybody else is kind of the same vibe. But don't let that discourage you. Don't let this, yeah, don't let that discourage you from talking. Just, it's a pretty quiet server at the moment. I don't know. It, you should ask your mom if you're adopted. Hey, Omar! The King Sloth guy's here again asking if he's adapted! Throw the fruit cake at him. I need a lot of things. Help is part of it. Um, oh yeah, I was telling a story. So we played up for the bit, even though it's pretty, even though it's pretty believable that he that Nera is scarred by it. But we played the bit up that I have scarred the artist of that emote for life with Frederick because because of how much he just annihilated stuff. By the time I was done with. By the time he was, um, by the time I was done with the game, and it's basically just what I basically would run into a scenario, hit three buttons, and win the scenario. So, it's a bit we have between me and him. So he cursed me out. I think he cursed me out daily that I made him draw basically the root of his nightmares. Okay, let's go. Actually, you know, thank you for reminding me, King Sloth. Well done. I should probably finish off the uh, carton of almond nice. milk I've got in the refrigerator okay. tonight. It's probably going to go bad with by this weekend. If that stuff even does go bad. Very nice. 
shoot. Very nice. I lost my balance for a second. Also, nice. I do see that King Sloth. I'm a little far away from the button at the moment. If you're talking about, well, you can see it in the chat. Me pointing up here doesn't show it on your end, but if you're talking about the hit the button, that's a me thing. <sighs> Sorry, I have to explain this really. I have, to, I have to go over this and explain it really quick for Twitch Prime Cool because they're new. They're new. So at one point, here I can get close to the mic so I don't have to yell. So at one point in the past, my emote was a nut button. Oh. Not sure why you can't join the Discord. Oh well. Maybe I just messed up the uh, timer and it's expired and I have to renew it. Regardless. To explain it, I have a nut button. This was my e this was my only emote for a while. And then I had to take it down because Twitch came up to Mr. Octopimp, who also had a nut button for an emote, and told him, hey, that's not family friendly enough, take that down. So I took down this emote as a on my own terms, just as a safety net so I didn't get Twitch breathing down my neck. But, excuse me, but I found a compromise that people can redeem channel points for me to hit this button still. And yeah, the rest is history. So we're basically at a, we're basically at a mutual understanding that we can't have this as the emote, but it's still available for everybody to push, quote-unquote. Well, I'm going to do this until something else better is available. Twist. But yeah, there's also the irony of that. And I've told this story many times, so forgive me for paraphrasing. But... So, you know, the nut button, it's a blue button with the word nut on it. Nothing explicit about that whatsoever at all. Nil and null void kind of thing. Oh, but the, uh, oh, but the, uh, craigasm and subsequent, uh, sir, subsequent channels who have their own, uh, blankgasm emotes. Oh no, those are still fine, Danny. Those can all be used. Just those all can be used, no problem. Okay. Um. You do you, man. Or lady. Sorry, I don't. Welcome to my lexicon, where defaults everything to man. Whatever your gender is. You do you. You don't have to stay around for the whole thing. I understand. People have lives outside of streams. There's a reason I don't start streaming until 5 o'clock. Or I guess 5 o'clock my time. At the earliest. Because I... Because I too have my own 9 to 5 job I have to report to. There we go. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Thank you for the uh, correction. But yeah. You do what you gotta do. I understand. I also have a 9 to 5 job. Well, I have it. I should say. I have a 9 to 5 job. I need to stop assuming everybody is, every, is the same. I have a 9 to 5 job that I have to report to. So I can't stream every day or even stream late every day. 
because I need to report to said job. But, to your hear my point without sounding stupid, your life comes first. You and your life are first and foremost. You spend, spending your time with me is appreciated, but make sure your affairs are sorted before spending your time and or resources on me. Yeah, even though I've been playing this game for so long, I still get winded at mountain climbers. Well, thank you. I try to be. I try to be nice and kind. But I also know that I am... I also know appearance-wise, and my poor word choice included, I know I can be kind of gruff or, or crass. I don't try to be, it's just what happens. Whew. Let me get a mini breather here. Okay. Ooh, dragon fruit, you spoil me. Hey, that's what, actually what you should tell yourself and tell everybody you know. That's a good message just to have. Only person that can stop you is you. And you better have a damn good reason for stopping yourself. You did it. Oh, what are these called again? Quick! Let's hurry out of here! I forget what these crows are called. Anyway, later nerds! Oh, sod off. Don't call them Robins. <laughs> Got it all. No. My apologies for constantly adjusting. hate to warn you, but he's the reoccurring villain. It's like a Saturday morning cartoon with this game. He's going to keep coming back. Okay. I hate that I'm going to do this, but I know what comes after this. So, there's a good chance I'll have to take a knee somewhere in this just because I am low on energy still. Oh, he is. Oh, 
Of course he's not nice. He's goddamn evil. Sorry. Had to slightly adjust it, but pull a Team Four Star quote out of the hat. I got no problem with swearing. I I have no problem with swearing. I've just been working very hard to correct my speech over the last several years because I used to swear like a sailor. And now to play the game, the more you curse, the less you're promoted. <laughs> if that makes sense. Whoopla, Pika. What is that, like, about 70 mountain, no, because that was 60 alone. I think I've already done like 100 mountain climbers, not more so far. Oh, come on, dude. I did that so you would do your spit up thing. Gross, I know. But yeah. So, I'm pretty much in the same boat, except that I don't dislike cursing, but I have two, I have, oh god, how wait, how many? I have seven nephews and one step niece. So, I kind of have to watch my language a lot more, because I'm pretty sure their parents, they're going to make, they're going to find out, because of who their parents are, they're probably going to curse, they're probably going to curse regardless of what, of what, regardless of what they try and stop, because their parents curse like sailors, but I've told them all. If they start swearing, it's not going to be because of me. So when they drop their first F-bomb, that's on you or the kids at school that they learned, that they learned it from. Not me. <laughs> but, if you go back in the time machine of, of my content creation, I, I used to use swear words like commas. my uh very much my need to swear definitely comes about as a you know a product of the environment I'm with, I'm in in conversation Whew, I'm sorry I catch my breath a little bit my heart is going really fast by the way so many mountain climbers 
Um, so, like, if I'm amongst my family, again, the ones that curse like sailors worse than I did, or do, you know, I'll let a swear fly out here and there. If I'm with my online friends, you know, depending upon the majority rule on if people are swearing or not, I'll drop a swear every now and again. Social chameleon kind of thing. Which everybody looks at me weird when I say, when I say, oh yeah, I, I'm like a social chameleon. I kind of conform to what's going on around me in terms of flow. So when I speak by myself, it's a little weird because I don't know how to talk on one-on-one -on -one and I don't know how I talk normally without outside influence. But, for anybody that's watching on a speaker, so to say, with older, with uh, people around them that are very much, like, vehemently against swearing, and I feel the urge to swear, you know, I'll give, like, a five-second warning and say something along the lines of, pardon my word choice, or pardon my French. Which is a very common idiom for you're, I'm going to swear. And then I'll proceed to drop the bomb. So if I ever feel the urge to swear, I'll usually give warning before I do it. Oops. Oh my gosh, where's the dragon fruit? Oh, I missed the, uh, I missed the experience up, but that's fine. Look at the crate I just ran past. Nope, we fight this. Do a little bit of yoga. Do a little bit of that yoga, dear boy. Sorry. I got a little distracted. I've, uh, I can't really uh, adequately show the damage right now because it's healing up. But I've uh, I basically got a cut on the basically right above the thumb of my hand on my or the knuckle on the, my my palm or my thumb. So it's almost healed up, and I have a bad and I have a bad habit of picking at scabs. Especially when they're almost healed. Anyway. Uh, what do I use to stream Switch games? Well, let me do this really quick to ruin the immersion. I use an Elgato. I use an Elgato, uh, which is how I also... Which is also how I record my Switch games and some other things on my channel. If I'm not using the Elgato to record something, I'm usually I'm then playing a PC game which I can just natively capture the PC program without much worry. And I will say that as you can tell by looking around me a little bit in certain spots, you can definitely tell tell I'm a quote unquote man child who is still Nintendo still favors Nintendo over other th other things. But I do also play PC games. 
I do have some of the older PlayStation systems. And when I say older, I mean like PlayStation PlayStation 2 and or PlayStation Vita is the newest PlayStation device I have. And I also have an Xbox 360, although that... In recent years, that Xbox 360 has basically become a Sonic Unleashed system and nothing else. So... Is it visible from here? Oh, it's probably buried because I haven't played it in a while. No, it's not. Right, because I took it out. Yeah. So, when I say it's a uh, Sonic Unleashed machine, I'm not kidding. People still look at me funny though when I say Sonic Unleashed is my favorite Sonic game. But then again. But then again. Uh, what is it? My favorite genre of game is a, is the beat em up genre. You know, Final Fight, Streets of Rage, Dynasty Warriors, that kind of game. You know, one dude fighting millions of other dudes who die in like three punches. Those are my favorite kinds of games. So Sonic Unleashed is a Sonic game where the other half of the game is a beat-em-up. Although I do have a handful of games over here. I do have a handful of games over here that I could play in my Xbox 360 that aren't Sonic related. But for some reason, those recently have been reserved as a... As a... I need to pull out a niche game that no one has covered. So I grab it out. It like... Let me reach in the, into the closet here again. So like... Why is it open? So like Eternal Sonata here. At some point in my future, I want to record a series like that. And I guarantee you, and I guarantee you only three people know about, only three people you'll ever talk with will know about Eternal Sonata. It's a Tales of series style RPG that's basically the fever dream of a dying Frederick Chopin. You know, the classical composer, Frederick Chopin. Yeah, they made an RPG around his, di his dying wish. <laughs> okay. Kind of taking back up of your comments, you know, favorite genres. Awesome. I think the top three favorite genres for me nice would have to be, uh, um, beat em up, number one. Well done. Arcade Wonderful. racing game, uh, All right. sure. for example, Cruising USA. Very nice. So, arcade racing game. And then platformers. Great. 
though I don't shy away from any genre at all. Outside of stealth and tactics. And I guess simulation to a, to a degree as well, unfortunately. Unfor like I say, unfortunately, simulation, not so much. Uh, ouch. So, I mean, my friend Tamal. Oh, I can't, I, it has to be the right horror. I like, I like, I can get into horror, but it has to be, it has to be like unsettling horror, like, the kind of like you sit there and think about it for a minute and you go, oh, that's unnerving. Oh, oh God. Oh, that kind of horror. I really hate the, I really hate the kind of horror that's little, I really hate the kind of horror that's just, that's just, boo spook. Hate it. Despise it. Worst kind of genre. If, if anybody watching, if that's your bag, cool, that's your bag. Enjoy your game. Don't let some, don't let some random person on the internet dissuade you from your favorite genre. We're all different people for a reason. We're all different people for a reason with our own different interests. No, oh, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish isn't either. Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. My pulse has settled since doing those mountain climbers, so this won't. As soon as it finds it, holy cow. Infrared sensor, please. So yeah, this won't be as, my heart was not beating that quote unquote slow about two minutes ago. Oh, you both redeemed it. Oh, shoot. I didn't notice you both hit did it. I'm sorry. This is just for my sake, but just so you guys are aware, because I'm pretty sure how most people watch it, your chat is over here. So just know that on, I have, I can see over here a duplicate version of the chat, and also just above the chat is basically the activity feed, which is like a list of major events that have happened that warrant your attention as a streamer. And. I did not see you both had used your nut, the nut button redemption until I had hit it once for the first guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, Twitch Prime Cool, I know you said you were playing this game. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to run into Drago here. But I will tell you that the dialogue you're going to hear this time is going to be vastly different from when you meet him actually in this world on your own playthrough. Can we get a we need a bless for Drago? Can you do bless can you even do the hand clap emote in Twitch? Or is that like blocked? Well, there's other things down there. I need to think of more like long-term points to put in. I need to think of other things to put in there for redemption that isn't just the nut button. But I have other things you can't redeem. I just haven't thought of like huge long-term goal ones to put in. Now slowly 
Ooh. Oh, we weren't done yet. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. It's a, squ it's a squat run. Give me Gragu. Listen, I haven't watched The Mandalorian, but I am well aware that Gragu is the baby. Are you okay? But, uh, to sir, I know. Whew, I know, uh, what is it? I know a friend of mine, one of his uh, point redemptions, one of his like really big point redemption goals, it's like a million points, you did it. but it's basically, oh, give me one second, I need to regain my composure. I could do that, but... Here's the problem, is, hold on, whenever I'm not streaming Ring Fit, whenever I'm not streaming Ring Fit, this is behind me like this, Whew. this is behind me like this, effectively right at my back, not much room to put, not much room to do, uh, put a whiteboard on for people to see. So I do appreciate it, but I do appreciate the suggestion, but I can't really do it. Um, oh, you don't have to make that your job. That could, that's my job. That's my job. I'm just being lazy and I haven't thought about it harder than stealing somebody else's idea. Like something I could do is make a redemp makes it make like a make like a five hundred point or five hundred thousand point redemption of make me, make me play game X. Make me play game X. Uh, for example, just looking around my room for games that I hate. See the sad part is I don't I know I am not. I know, I know, I'm getting to that game, shut up. See, the thing with that is that looking around my room, I don't really think I've kept many, if any, of the games that I don't like. I don't have a bot set up. That's mainly just the me thing though, with the bot. I realize a lot of people have bots set up for their channels. It's just, I don't like using bots because Oh, excuse me. It's Abdonis, the master of the abs. Boy has an eight pack. Sorry, only Batman, only Batman's cool enough to have a nine pack. You're welcome for the, uh, you're welcome for the Lego Batman reference. Uh, 
Which I will say, I've seen Lego Batman, but I've never seen either of the Lego movies. If that makes sense. Wait. So while I think, you know, Lego Batman is a fantastic movie, I haven't seen the, uh, basically the movie that gave the studio what it needed to push forward, nor have I seen the sequel to that movie. Again, the Lego movie and Lego Movie 2. If I'm following you, you direct correctly, you're basically just a slacking. You are the Pokemon slacking. Got it. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. Won't be stopped. Shouldn't be stopped. Please stop me. You made it. Stand up. Send the cops. Terrible message. And I've had people tell me I should watch the, the first. I should, I've had people tell me I should watch the first Lego uh, Lego movie, or at least watch the Lego movies, if I like Lego Batman. I just don't have time, man. Well, I know you can't see it well. It's plugged in, so I can't really undo the cord that much. But. If that helps at all, I do. That tells you how. Uh, that tells you that I also have. Let's go, but it's Eevee. I'm about to show my age. Oh God! Everybody, clear the room. He's going to. He's going old. Actually, is it sitting out? It is sitting out. Watch out, he's going old. That's how old I am. This is my Wee Babby, Wee Babo Scooters copy of, of Fire, of, not Fire Red, of Pokemon Red, the original. Oh, here we have another button, hold on. You did it while I was getting while I was getting peripherals. Sly. Sly on the sly even. So but yes, that is me showing that I am in fact old. Put that on the counter of old. But let's go Pikachu is effectively the third release of Pokemon Red. Yes, the third release of Pokemon Red. So you're not missing out on much, really. You're, other than the fact that it's a little bit easier, you're basically playing Pokemon Red. I think the only generation I consistently skip out, skip on when it comes to what Pokemon do you play, I consistently, consistently skip third gen. I don't know what it is about third gen. Every time I get to Watson's gym, I just lose all drive to play the game any further. And it's not because I lost to Watson. I beat Watson. But then my drive to play just goes... Boom! Hell, I think... I think the furthest I've gotten playing Pokemon... Pokemon 3rd Gen is I bought a used copy of Emerald. I beat Tate and Liza. I stopped playing. But the reason for that is, as I've said before, I am lay old is third gen had just was coming out right at that time in 
life for most people where Pokemon isn't cool anymore. St you, you look like a stupid baby still playing Pokemon. So, I skipped third gen. And I almost skipped fourth gen. Until like, my last year of high school. One of my high school friends said, has said, or randomly said, hey, have you been playing Pokemon? I was like, no, I haven't. And she said, oh, you should try it again. I see you hit you highlighted the message. I'm on to you. Um But yeah. But no, she said you should you should look into play you should look into picking up picking up a fourth gen game. You might you might like it. So because I was a final year high school kid who had worked who had for most of his junior and senior years of high school uh don't stop doing that Adonis stop doing that Adonis I don't feel comfortable anymore um anyway but yeah because I was a high school kid who basically worked somehow found a way to work two jobs through his junior and senior years on top of musical co-curriculars So, yeah, I somehow did all that in my life. But yeah, I had, I had a, I had a surplus of Dosh. And, like, and as I was walking through the Best Buy one day, I was like, oh, hey, Pokemon Platinum. Sure, why not? I'll try it. I mean, no, no one's going to judge me anymore. I'm, we're basically at the point where nobody gives a damn what you do in school when you're in school. And... Though... What is it? Though Generation... Generation 5, the first time around with its story, almost beats it out, I still hold that... Platinum is my favorite Pokemon game, hands down. Oh, I didn't select. Oops. I'm sitting here fiddling with loose skin on my fingers. I forgot to select the thing. expensive anymore. Or it's not as expensive anymore. It's probably like 40 bucks okay. used at most. You should see about getting a Game Boy Advance SP instead. Wonderful. Instead of mod unless you're gonna do it yourself. Nice. Instead of modding a Game Boy. Well done. Cause I'm pretty sure modding your Game Boy costs the cost is the cost of the parts plus the labor cost and shipping cost. Which there's a good chance that's going to total up to be like $100. Okay. Whereas a Game Boy Advance SP just... Right. It's just like 40 bucks now, used. Great. Great. And it has a backlight. Awesome. Or if you want to get extra fancy, great, wonderful, get a Game Boy Micro. Okay, twenty more. Fantastic. I had one at one point. It uh, right. it works, awesome. but I have giant hands. Well done, excellent, very nice.
like I said, modding, modding costs a lot of money because you're paying for the labor costs, the price of the product, the price of the product, and the shipping costs if you have to send it to the guy. Although I do like this, he's vibing. <laughs> like something I will tell you. Uh, where is that thing? Did it fall somewhere? Keep going. Like the skill. Hold on. I'm gonna do a little digging around my uh, workstation. perspective here uh, twitch prime cool and I realize you know oh hold on get uh, lightheaded hang on so to put in perspective for what you're trying to do is I've done it as well with this so ignoring the extra wires tied around it like a bungee cord, like a bungee cord of death this is a modded 2ds to be used as a capture card this is what I used on the uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest videos. This, I had to buy the system, which was 70 bucks because I got it on sale at the time. I had to ship it to Japan, which cost me $40 round trip. Then I had to basically pay for labor and parts from the now defunct Katsu Kitty because he got found out and got shut down by legal teams. But yes, to the now defunct Katsu Kitty, I had to wait three months for, for anything with it to happen. And now, because Katsu Kitty is out of business by, via the government, I have to be super freaking careful with that thing because if that breaks, that's the end of my 3DS capturing. So despite how I just set it down a second ago, if I move that cat, if I move that, if I move that 2DS anywhere, I basically put it I basically put it down like it's the finest china to ever grace God's earth. <laughs> okay, let's move. Bend your knees slightly as you do this next Nice. Amazing. Okay. Okay, um, I know, um, now, I don't know anything about that, because again, you know, hi, dumb American, um, 
I don't know anything about that. The okay. only exposure I've had to something similar okay. to that is from my time playing Persona 4. And even then, the Japanese very uh, equivalent of that is vastly different. So I have no knowledge on what on how that works specifically, but from what I can piece together, it basically means if you don't do well, you're basically stuck working fast food, and if you do well, you could potentially be like a pharmacist tra trainee or something like that. You know, a good paying job, but not the best. Hey, we always need more IT people. As I say, as I say, like it's a badge of honor, Excellent. even though I, even though it's Wonderful. it's not. By all technicalities, I have my associates in IT. I just don't have the degree to back it up because I quit because I quit school. I quit okay. school because I couldn't hack it anymore. I didn't think to ask. Oh, I wonder if I could just settle for my associates instead of my bachelor's. And I don't know how all that stuff works, so I'm feigning ignorance on this one. But Neat. Come on. it probably works different in the UK, simply because well done. Um, schooling is paid by the government uh, Ten like tenfold compared to the US. Basically. Not even through general education. Grade 12 is the equivalent. Not even through grade 12 Excellent. does... Come on. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Five more. You got it. Three. You got it. Eight. One left. Okay. You yeah, they made it. Yeah, I'll just say grade 12. That way we're kind of on the same page. <clears throat> Your parents, basically, unless they're pieces of crud, your parents pay for a majority of your schooling in America, all the way up through your GED or grade 12, your general education degree. And at, what is it? At grade after that you can choose to go to college slash university. A tough one, but you can do it. Sorry. You can choose to go to college and or university after that point, but it's on the dime of you, the student, and not your parents unless your unless your parents pay on your behalf. Because I'm pretty sure in the UK, from what you're showing here all the way up through college, is paid by uh, government, I'll say, to make it to be blunt. So, outside of that, outside of all that, uh, I am very much in student debt with nothing to show for my time acquiring that student debt. <laughs> Okay, and I should clarify, I'm not saying this as an oh woe is me, have pity on me kind of thing. No. I say this because everybody because I feel like everybody should just have Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So basically the same thing, university is American university slash college. 
college is like a smaller university, effectively. Anyway. But yeah, I'm not saying this, I'm not telling you all this to be like, oh, woe is me, have pity on me, kind of thing. I'm telling you this because I feel like it's still, like, even I learned something today. I feel like it's it's very helpful to learn about other languages and other languages, other regional variances of how life works. It, I find it very necessary to learn that kind of stuff so you aren't arrogant. Oh, Jesus. Well, make sure you clean that up and your tablet if it got on there. But, um, which bleeds over into, you know, which bleeds over to me, you know, me as I am right now, you know, I am an American who is not afraid to try, oh, damn, yeah, it's late, like, as me as a dumb American, as it's usually pointed out. I am a dumb American who tries to learn everything he can about everything that isn't America as a failsafe. Say poquito espanol. Needless to say, I have a very mild understanding of Spanish and I can say hello and my name is in Japanese and that's about as far as I've gotten so far. <laughs> Take your time, you do you. Well done. Nicely done. Great. Increase your pace. Good job. Excellent. Great. Five more. Okay. Okay. Fine work. Well done. One left. Okay, let's switch sides. You will never hear me complain about somebody taking okay, care of themselves. Go. Ever because life happens. Life happens, and I and you can't expect somebody to. You can't expect somebody, especially if they're providing a service free. Free. If somebody's providing a service free, you can't expect. As that person providing service, you can't expect to just monopolize everybody that person's attention from every aspect of their life. Period. You just can't. As I said before, life comes first. Everything else is everything else is an afterthought. Well done. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Excellent. Amazing. Which is why it hasn't happened yet. I want to say, but just for example, someone says someone comes in and someone says. Sorry, I can't stick around. Grandma's on her way to the ER. I have to go. I'm going to be the first person to say, you didn't need to tell me your grandma's on the way to the ER. Go to the ER now. Like, if that ever happens, shut down your computer, tablet, whatever, and go! Don't even tell me you're leaving, just go! <laughs> I realize it's a very few, it's a very few and far between kind of thing, but if a streamer ever tries to lecture you, to say you're not spending enough time in their stream or you're not donating enough or you're not doing this you're not doing that for them okay that's not a good person that's not even a person here comes my foul language that's a greedy son of a bitch who doesn't deserve jack all
thank you. I try and make it a safe place. I don't... I don't... If I ever say anything that I feel like could be taken... If I ever say anything that I feel like could be taken in a in a negative context, like, I'll even catch myself and I'll say, I'll apologize. I feel like I'm saying things in the wrongest way possible. Oh, there we go. I'll say, I say, I feel like I'm said the wrongest thing possible. I apologize. Let me, let me redact that statement and try and find a more neutral term. <laughs> Because a lot of times when I'm talking, it's just a stream of consciousness. Okay, and this will work your upper Very nice. not the best word choice coming up here, but I basically grew up in your Hooray! in your typical uh, semi-suburban 99% white town, Excellent. where everybody was very heavily a Bible thumper. So some of my word choice betrays me here and there, but I don't let that dictate what I say, or I, or I don't hold any prejudice against other people. gonna name names but just to give an example of what I'm saying of what I'm giving you here is like I said grew up in suburbia white town where 99% of the population was white among my friends group are several black people several Thai Phil and Philippian uh, Philippian I think I'm saying that right people from the Philippines <laughs> Orientation. Several ladies. People of my background. People of other religious backgrounds. And and one, if not a couple of my friends, are transit are transitioned gender, we'll say, and keep that as neutral as possible. This is not me flaunting my friend circle. This is me saying I'm open to all walks of life. I mean, I am too. As I said earlier with the Discord. Again, I don't know why you can't get into the Discord. But as I said earlier with the Discord, it's very quiet. Because either A, I'm at work. B, I'm working on a video after work. Okay. Or C, nice. my my introverted nature has kicked into high gear, and I don't want to say and I don't want to say anything. Period. I don't want to talk. Pin the wheel, raggedy man. Okay, that'll be ready in two turns. So, I think I can do this and get to the point where I can use single targeting attacks. But, to that end, and again, apologies for the air conditioner. The mic's right here, the air conditioner's up just to the left of it, about, I'm gonna say a meter. A meter to a meter or three to four feet.
forgot the lesson part of this I was going to say. So let me just say the joke part of it, and maybe the actual lesson will come back to my head. Um. Okay, there, okay, let's let's just say it like this. I am a I am a horrendously white man trying to that is a car crash of all European nationalities. Norwegian, Dutch, proper English, a little bit of German. Along with like some Native American, uh, you know, Indian heritage in there. Trying to learn a Spanish language and an Eastern language, Japanese, while enjoying foods that are are are, are, are that are from any region in the world, and I will try any food at least once. So basically, I'm trying to become a car crash. <laughs> Like, I will say from a European nation's kind of standpoint, I don't think I've had, like, a proper uh, UK dish or UK delicacy other than a scone, but let's be real, that's just, that's just a biscuit without uh, missing, I think it's yeast. Biscuits, of course, being cookies in the UK. Anyway, that aside. But I will say... There's an Irish pub about half an hour from me here. Fish and chips? Yeah, fish and chips. And I do know, and I'm aware that, you know, chips is the American French fry. I don't know why I had to give that a weird accent. Like, I'm aware of, like, the differences between American English and UK English for a lot of things, so you don't have to translate. <laughs> But I was saying, there's an Irish, there's a there's a place that's an Irish Irish pub. It's about half an hour from here. That one of their one of the favorite uh, one of the meals I get from there a lot is uh, bangers and mash. Love that. I realize it's just like apple infused brats with with mashed potatoes, but bangers and mash. <laughs> Also, it's kind of a weird thing now I think about it. Sorry, my, arm, my shoulders are sore, so I'm resting those for a minute. It's kind of a weird thing when you think about it. Because in the UK, it's called fish and chips, and everybody knows exactly what that is. In America, when we see it, we go, oh, fish with french fries. But on menus, they still say fish and chip special. <laughs> Oh yeah, which is why I do, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna actually do it right now, but I will say like, if it's an irony sort of sense, I will fake a terrible British accent, but it's only like for irony sense, you know, and my apologies, like when we're sitting, we're talking about Harry Potter, you know, Harry Potter, again. Terrible. I shouldn't. Fine work. Sharp. Great. Unless it's ironic, I don't. I, unless it's ironic or for the sake of a joke, I don't put on an accent. Sorry, it feels like my knuckles need to crack. 
But then again, I'm pretty sure the same could be said for for folks in the UK making fun of America. American accents. Come on. Very nice. Sticker, sticker. Good job. The heck is Ten a sticker? <laughs> There's stickers on Twitch? Oh, wait, merch. You're thinking merch. I'm not to that point yet. <laughs> My brand, so to say, is not to the point yet where I can make merch where I can make merch very uh, effectively. Oh this. Um main reason. Main reason I won't do this, this is very much copyright, this is very much copywritten material. <laughs> Especially because it's a Nintendo IP, I am surprised I'm getting away with it. But. On the but I also will not, uh, oh, a point thing, that's what you mean. Uh, well it is a point thing. Unlock a random emote. Well, unlock a specific or a random emote is still on that list of point redemption. And right now, Frederick is my only point is my only emote. So you redeem a random emote, you get Frederick for to use wherever you like for 24 hours. But, um, I guess to basically, yeah, yeah, that's basically, okay, you probably know what it is, so I apologize for over-explaining things. The very thing, various things in my past have made me have to over-explain myself multiple times. I apologize. Basically, what you did with your channel points by redeeming a random emote, or that specific emote that you have, is you're basically... Without actually subscribing, you basically have become a subscriber for 24 hours. That email goes to every Twitch stream you now go to until like 11.30 p.m. your time. Tomorrow. I guess later today. self stream you can use that in your own chat on your stream you basically you basically unlock a 24-hour subscription is what is what that point is what that redemption effective point boiled down to you just don't have the funny badge that says I subscribe to this I subscribe to this one nerd in America ha huh. for five bucks don't you already said you're poor. By your words, not mine. Don't spend five bucks on me because if you can. Very or I nice. guess it would be like... God. Would it be closer to like four pound, 30 pence or something like that for you? I don't know, they probably would still make it five pounds because... Because currency differences don't matter to Amazon. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Great. Okay, yeah. So it is five pence for you, or it's five pounds for you. So, wow, five pence to subscribe? Dang. <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to keep saying it so people who try to clip me out of context know that I'm not being scummy. If you can't afford the monthly subscription, don't. Well done. I am a grown-ass adult. I will take care of myself.
I had to look at the time really quick because I didn't know how I didn't know how long I had been going. Um, usually these ring fit streams last a roughly two hours of real time or an hour in game time. So I mean, I know you said you I know you said it was late for you, but if you gotta rest, you you gotta rest, man. Don't stay up because I'm because I'm still going. Closing in on the end of the stream. Okay. You're like me about 10 years ago. No need to rush, though. You're like me about 10 years ago. Stay up till 4 in the morning with nothing to do the next day, so, I, so you sleep until 11 o'clock or noon. What's the problem? I got nowhere to be. <laughs> um, anyway. Well, something I will say. This may be a little late for, for you. A little late for you, but... Uh, next... Yeah. Uh, next stream, which is a Saturday stream. I'm going to talk about this now, so anybody... So, anybody who's lurking, if you just got it on the background, to turn down whatever else you're working on, because this is a kind of a semi-important announcement. So, Saturday... Sat uh, Saturday, the next stream is going to be a Name That Game Tune stream. Um, the idea behind Name That Game Tune is basically I play a song from a video game. And in a game show sort of sense, everybody in the chat tries... Did you? Oh, pro on YouTube, got it. Um, but in the sense of... But in the sense of the game show, you know, you'll play it in chat, typing it out, and I'll play the song for up to a minute, and you folks would guess what that song is, or guess what game that song came from. There's no prize at the end of it, it's just for fun. But it would be starting about this time on Saturday. I may start the stream up a little early to make sure people can funnel in, but yeah. And Excellent. even though I could be a jerk Great. and pull yeah. entries from like indie games, Me? like just examples, Super Meat Boy or uh, oh, Castle yeah. Crashers or nice. now I'm trying to think of something re really Good obscure, uh, Rakuen. Like I could pull indie uh, titles from indie games like that, but I try to keep it stuff that's basically, you know, Fine is work. an indie game uh, this coming Saturday. As in two days from now. Alright! You're 48 hours from now. Okay! Well done! So like, um, I will keep all my picks to either major releases for the most part, or if it's an indie game. An indie game that a lot of people or an indie game that a lot of people know about. Like, example sake, but fine, I don't think it's on the list. Undertaker. Yeah, time zones make it weird. So that's why I say approximately 48 hours from now. I will get him. I will drag his ass, as they say. Okay, but he vibing though. Sorry, I. That one animation. Okay, the first one he did. The first animation he did, where he was just going like this. He vibing though. He vibing. So, if I could, if I had the skill to do so. I would crop that, I would crop out that for Abdonis and make that some kind of animated thing somewhere with a, with a transparent background. Thank you, I try. And fail expertly. <laughs> uh. Challenge. 
Oh yeah, I was talking about name that game tune. Uh, but yeah. Uh, how a name that game tune works is, you know, everybody can basically can participates at the same time. The first person to guess the name of the game... At a high? Um, let me finish this thought. But how it works is... Everybody can participate. That's actually not a bad idea, even though I constantly drink water. But hey, that wouldn't be a bad idea for like 500 points. Okay, let's switch sides. I'll look at it in the Get future if I remember. Legs. I have a goldfish memory. Um, but yeah. Basically, everybody participates all at the same time, and I'll keep track of scores on my end. But the first person who guesses the song correctly gets two points. And the person in second place and third place after that will get one point each. And then for everybody after that will just get the knowledge of knowing they got it right. If they did. And he's done. Take a seat. Your sweat is so shiny and beautiful. Um, minor breathing break here, but the, uh, what is it? Uh, that scoring system is present over 42, no, over 40 songs I picked. That scoring system stays in place, and then the last 10 songs, I double the points, so it's possible to come from behind and win. At the very end. Basically Mario Party rules. Where somebody can do fantastic the whole game, but if they flounder in the last ten songs, they can lose. <laughs> Drop your hips. Now, I will say, um, this isn't an original idea by me. This is not an original idea by me. Though I have gotten the graces of the people who have created the idea to give me the go-ahead to do it. Uh, Mega Freak 400 is where I think my knowledge of where this whole name that game tune thing originated from. In fact, they still do either weekly or bi weekly streams of name that game tune. Um, and I only mentioned Mega Freak because I only mentioned Mega Freak like this because I don't, I've only recently gotten to have conversations with with them in the last like two months but before that um, my friend Odin Spack 33 Canadian friend I'm just gonna put that out there Oh, Quizmaster's back on it. But yeah, Odin's Fact 33 kind of introduced a lot of us to the concept. Um, introduced us all to the concept of... So this is World 37. But this is New Game Plus, so this is World 1. But in New Game Plus. This is where you are in, reg in the regular game. But anyway, uh, just to continue on that thought process. But yeah, so the idea came from basically Odin's Back 33 introduced us all to the concept of Name That Game Tune. And we've all played Name That Game Tune in some capacity because of Odin. So asking him, I said, hey, is it okay if I host one someday? And this was like two or three years ago I did this. Is it okay if I host a Name That Game Tune stream? And I got the okay from him because it's because. He got the okay, so it's like a series of okays waterfall down to me.
Hey, it's your points. You can use them however you want. What do we have for calories? Oh, okay. Calories, by the way. Do I keep... Oh, it's the light of my headphones. I'll give you a little... I'll give you a little, uh... Pro tip there, Twitch Prime Cool. If you're watching the stream and you're not, like, mid-typing on your tablet, if you look down by your point reduction button... Occasionally, it'll pop up a little green gift. If you click on that, you get 50 points instead of just the occasional tens. That works on every channel, not just mine. Sorry. So, yeah. Sorry for everybody who's, like, kind of paying attention. I've been talking circles. So, yes, uh, just in summation... 7 p.m. Uh, Central, I'm going to say Central District Time. Um, 7 p.m. Central District Time or Central Standard Time for Americas and Canada on Saturday. It'll probably last about four hours if the last name they game tune is anything to go by. Because I have to, I'm handling everything by myself so I need time in between rounds to calculate everything. But I would love it if you came out. We can enjoy some game music. You can learn about some game music you may have you may have never heard about before. And we can have somebody complain constantly that they definitely entered in their they definitely entered in their uh, answer well before this other person. Which is why I have this chat here, by the way. So to add into that is so I have chat replay. I have chat replay set up on all my streams because people at that point can see when I see their message. So there's no arguing, but I did this in front of this person. Well, according to what I saw, no, you didn't. And unfortunately, I'm the one who has to see all the answers, not you. So, what I end up seeing ends up becoming the final say. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Oops. say that I do have the last two name that game tune streams I've do done they're archived either on my main channel or my streaming channel so if you ever want to see what that's like they're both on there go nuts you can also go on those streams to see what I look like about Two, three years ago, when I was a hundred and when I was 120 pounds heavier, or for the, for our ever not American viewers, approximately 170 kilograms. And no, I think it's closer to like 155, but still. Now I'm closer to 117. <laughs> anyway, that aside. Oh no, I guess 170 would be would be correct. Never mind. Open your chest when you rotate out your upper arms. My dream. Right now. I've been chasing it for, I've been chasing it for probably closer to nine years, 
but I've been doing video content for 12. But, as of right now, my dream at this point is to have enough notoriety in the content I make on the internet to live comfortably. Not to live a lavish life, but, you know... If I want to, if I want to, at some point, buy a small house and live my life making content online, that would be that would be my dream. Keep in mind, I've been chasing that dream for close to a decade now. But the thing about dreams is, you never give up on them. Which you have to, oh sorry. I'm putzing with my hands. You never give up on your dreams. But you also have to be a realist with your dreams sometimes in that it may not be feasible to pursue it full time where you stand. Before I go to this, I need to take a breather and say this. Like I said, I've been pursuing that dream for about a decade now. About seven years ago, I tried to set in hard on doing it and making that a reality. As in, as in when I lost my job back then. Did you hit the button? You hit the button. I think the batteries are dying. But yeah, when I lost my job at the at that time seven years ago, I didn't go looking for another job. I double barreled down, ran my credit through the roof, trying to make this content creation thing a job. And then the realism set in and I went, okay, I'm not I'm not getting anywhere fast enough to make this a reality right now. I need to go back to doing a nine to five job. So so, be, pursue your dreams, whatever they may be, but always remember that reality is a thing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. I think a lot of people find that out the hard way. Hold on, lightheaded. I need a little more water if that's the case. So yeah, I'm going to do the corny thing, but from the woeful, from the woeful game of Sonic Forces, there is a line in that game that kind of, in recent years, has surmised what my outlook on life is. I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. Thank you, Silver T. Hedgehog, with your pot leaf forehead thing.
So, because I remember, I did remember what you were talking about earlier. If you're pursuing computer sciences or IT, pursue it. But if a job in your field doesn't open up immediately, if a job in your field doesn't open up immediately, don't turn your nose up at any job because it's not in your field. You unfortunately need to make money to live in this day and age. So, you know, if you say you get your IT or computer sciences degree, but there's no, there's nothing open in that field, don't turn your nose up at a manufacturing job. If I was If I was in a place, if I could have a job based on the skills I've harnessed, I'd probably either be a radio DJ or help desk at Best Buy. But I currently work in a plastic manufacturing plant. Because nobody wants to hire somebody who doesn't have his uh, knowledge on how to be a DJ nor somebody who doesn't have their degree in IT, despite what knowledge they may have in the field. That right there is the lesson I learned the hard way about six years, about six, seven years ago. trying to um, be a translator because the dream of making content creation my job oh your name updated um, the dream of making content creation as my job is still the dream but to open up other opportunities in the future, I'm pursuing additional skills. Like right now, like right now, I'm learning Japanese. And once I feel like I'm conversational in Japanese, I'm gonna try and relearn my spe relearn relearn what Spanish I do know, so I can speak Spanish again more fluently. And then if anything else, and then if I decide to go the Christopher Lee route and decide to get conversational in 17 languages, I'll get conversational in 17 languages. <laughs> and not, not talking bad about you. You're born when you're born. You can't help it. But for, if you don't know, Christopher Lee is probably best known for his roles as Count Dooku, I think, in Star Wars Episode 2. And as Soderman in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Outside of being a fantastic actor, outside of being a fantastic actor, Christopher Lee was fluent in five languages, conversational in 12 others, knowledge on like another three, and he released two heavy metal albums between the ages of 70 and 80. 
as well as some other alkylates. So, just because something didn't stick at first, don't, don't avoid trying other things as well. <laughs> if you ever do watch the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, watch the theater cut, don't watch the extended cut. The extended cut of the trilogy is 20 hours long. <laughs> The theater cut is like nine and a half, ten. And keep in mind, it's three movies, so you can break it up how you want. someone could use my transformation over the last three years to say that I technically could be a fitness instructor. I'm not, but someone could classify me as one if they wanted to. push nine ten minutes ago <sighs> if you did I'm sorry if you didn't spend the points in that that's a freebie I'm very distracted and working out <sighs> but yeah that end I will say if you ever want to see the transformation of this into what it is now go searching through the archives of my YouTube channel and find old vlog footage of me when I was oh god when I was like 440 pounds or like 210 kilos I used to weigh double what I do now. <laughs> yeah. So, that's why I say, debatably, someone can call me a fitness coach. Don't, because that's malpractice. You did it! Speaking of that, drop your hips. Speaking of uh, the archives of my YouTube channel, uh, if you go deep enough, like I've made playlists for everything, but if you decide you want to go deep enough to look up. If you want to go deep enough to look up my, uh, some of my oldest stuff, I'm going to tell you that it's going to be terrible and all over the place because I've been making content for so long, YouTube doesn't know how to, how to, uh, categorize all of it. We might have a new high score. We don't. Well, I will also warn you, if you go any older than like four years ago, 
If you go any older than four years ago, I will be using swear words like a comma. So if you're around somebody who doesn't like that, either put headphones on or watch by yourself. <laughs> okay, what's the like? Oh, 11 minutes. Can I do it? Uh, I probably shouldn't. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't. I need to stop here. So let's go do a little shopping first. Let's do a little shopping first. Like if that stage was only going to be, hold on, let me see. Put this on. We'll buy everything we can first. Um, we'll buy everything we can until we run out of materials. Cause I'm pretty sure that yeah, I can I can buy and equip this set, which I should have earlier. Oh, I can't buy everything. Oops. I'm only rich because I use smoothie boosting things, which, with that being said, do you sell experience smoothies? No, of course you don't. You sell banan. You do actually, oh I have plenty of banan. Do I have plenty of seeds? I have plenty of seeds. I have one thing we can do though, do a little bit more working out before we're done. Collect bonuses? Oh, I don't know, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the time between bonuses is, unfortunately. Sorry, but, sorry, I just, I flat out do not know. Okay, let's do let's do some of these, and then we'll probably wrap things up. <sighs> but yeah, if that if that other stage was like a five minute stage, I would push forward and do another one. But if it's at eleven minutes, I'm not gonna push it. I've got enough in me to do like up to an hour, but an hour, five, hour, seven minutes, one hour, seven minutes, one hour, five minutes. I don't think I quite have enough push for that. Unfortunately. So we're just gonna make some smoothies in preparation for next for next uh, Ring Fit stream. Last one. <sighs> okay. So with that all being said, now that I've done this, let's do the cooldown. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull this desk chair up just in case I have to do a specific exercise or something that requires balance. But with that all said, does anybody have any questions they want to ask before I wrap up this evening's stream? Uh, like I've said about five times now, like I've said about five times now, a reminder that, a reminder that uh, Saturday, or I guess in your case, Twitch Prime Cool, early Sunday morning, I think, again, 40, uh, well, I guess closer to 47 hours from now. Is going to be named that game too. Everybody should show up and have fun. You can learn about video games that you didn't know about, and here and here just unadulterated video game goodness. Video game music goodness. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch um, within the range of your yeah. ability. Uh, depending upon, I don't know if you. Name That Game Tune will be an With entire stream in itself out, or not. Stretch out your back. If it is, then that will be the entire stream is Name That Game Tune. If, if we get enough of it done, if we get enough of it done, Bring yourself back slowly. that I can stream something else as well as Name That Game Tune, as if supporting it. then Gently we'll do more. Upper body backward, but don't lean back more than is comfortable. And then, Monday stream, 
I'm not entirely sure. Bring yourself back. Exactly. Whew. Spread your feet. I'm not entirely sure exactly what I'll play. I would love to play more of Pokemon Unite. Because I'm actually enjoying the game. But I'm only playing that game casually. I highly doubt I'll go into ranked mode. Unless I play it with friends. Oh, good enough. <sighs> Bring yourself back slowly. Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. Oh, uh, what is it? So yeah, that should that should address what's coming up. Uh, yeah, I do do raids. Um, we're gonna wait until the end of the stretches before I offer that. Because what I tend to do is when I do raid somebody, I'll go through the list of channels that I'm following, and we'll set up a raid, and we'll and I let the chat choose who we raid. Bring yourself back slowly. But I do go through everybody that I'm following that I would like to raid. Some of the people may be bigger, big streamers. Some people may be small time streamers that you've never heard of. Uh, let's see, it's Thursday, so no, he's not. Now switch legs. I didn't, actually, neither of them are. If you're less flexible, it's okay. Uh, two of the big the people I follow are kind of like two. Or two of the people that I follow are kind of like the two figureheads of content creation on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. Bring yourself back. Which is, Lithero and Proton John. And you're stretching. But completely. I don't. Good job. Unless the chat wants it, I tend to not raid them because. As petty as it sounds, they're a notarized streamer. They have everything they need. <laughs> and if they want more viewers, somebody will probably just see them on the front page. Whereas a smaller streamer, very hard to get somebody to see that. By the way, it is still summer outside. It's almost 8 o'clock at night. The sun is still out. There is not a baseball diamond outside that window. The sun is still out. Oh no, I've exposed myself. Look at all the stupid games I've been playing recently. <laughs> okay. Enough of this. Enough of this tomfoolery. Let me dismantle... Let me dismantle myself a little bit and we'll... Oh, I didn't think about that. Each. Uh, ooh, ah, yeah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> all right. Stealing some freaking sweet jokes to the side. Um, let's set up that raid. Here, now you can see my face closer now that I'm going to bring the microphone down and talk to you face to face. Hi, how's it going? I hope you have a lovely evening. Uh, hold on, I gotta ignore this. I gotta look into that. Actually, I think that video is... Sorry, I'm looking at... I'm pulling up something else that I shouldn't be looking at right now. Don't play that, because it's going to be very loud if you do. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll look into that more later. Sorry. Distracted. <sighs> Wrong website, Scooter. God damn it. Okay, let's try this again. So, your raid options. Um, hold on. Dang it, I thought my elbow was going to pop. I was trying to focus on that. Um... Your options this evening are Tom Fox 
is playing Super Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. A whodunit class trial kind of thing. Or not even a mock trial, like an actual trial kind of thing. Phoenix Wright. Uh, Gary, aka Zizix underscore, is streaming Everhood. It's a rhythm game that very much that very much has the humor and stylings of Undertale. Uh, Botanic Sage is playing Pokemon Unite, that game I was just talking about before. Uh, Pokemon MOBA game, or if you don't know what a MOBA is, League of Legends, AK or uh, Dota 2. Nakatilili is using his self-made avatar is playing Outer Wilds. Kind of a VTuber thing, if that helps. Uh, Resonant Hearts, aka Platinum Rhythm, is playing Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. It's Monster Hunter, but it's a turn-based combat, rock, paper, scissors kind of game. And... Uh, Together on the Staff Game Marathon channel, which is a charity event channel that I helped with earlier this year, uh, Slim Kirby and Odin Spack, who I mentioned earlier, are doing f a draft series of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I think it randomizes what units are and what they can do in the Fire Emblem games, and then they just c take turns drafting. They take turns drafting from that to figure out or to do battles. There we go. So I'll go through the list again. Because that was a lot. Tom Fox, Dang Danganronpa 2. Gary, Everhood. Botanic Sage, Pokemon Unite. Nakatalili, Outer Wilds. Platinum Rhythm, Monster Hunter Stories 2. Or Stack Game Marathon with Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, you would like... You would like Gary, you would like to watch, uh, no, no, Gary, it's uh, Botanic Sage. Okay, so let me open this up in a new tab. There we go. So this game is kind of cool. I played this a bit on Monday, and I played this a bit on Monday and Sunday for myself just to kind of get a hang on the game and learn it. Um, it's... Got some of the makings of a gotcha game in that you have to power up your items you use while in gameplay. But it's also a free-to-play MOBA game in that skill does help you win. The best part about it is it has a maximum time limit of 10 minutes around. So once 10 minutes are up, game ends. Anyway, I don't have a, I don't have a raid message, so we're just going to throw it over to, to Trey. You can call him Botanic Sage, BS, Trey, whatever you want to say. I'm going to throw it over to him, and I'll be there for just a minute, but i got to go clean up because you can tell by my neckline I am rather sweaty. So anyway, thank you all for coming out, and again, name that game tune in about 47 hours. I'll see you folks around. Laters!